Oh my god. You haven't had any tech news today? <laughs> Nvidia is set to unveil their new Ampere powered RTX 3000 series graphics cards tomorrow. That, as with everything in the tech world, if it exists, there are leaks of it. Videocards.com has lived up to their name and gotten their hands on photos of lots of video cards, specifically RTX 3090 and 3080 models from Zotac, Asus, and Gainward, which is a brand, apparently. The leaks seemingly confirm that the 3090 will have a whopping 24 gigabytes of VRAM, fueling rumors that it will essentially be the more creator-focused titan of this generation, while the RTX 3080 has a measly 10 gigabytes. <laughs> Can you even like run games with that, you know? Performance slides have also been leaked, although their veracity is a bit more suspect. The slides show the 3090 getting around two times more performance in games with RTX turned on. Gah, if only there was a way to know if this were real, beside, you know, just waiting a couple of hours to find out from Nvidia themselves. Ah, so frustrating. In their latest salvo at Epic Games, Apple terminated the studio's developer account on Friday, meaning now iOS users aren't just blocked from downloading Fortnite, they also can't download Infinity Blade. So sad. The termination does not affect the dev account Epic uses to update Unreal Engine because they were forbidden from doing so by a district judge, so games from other developers that use the engine will be unaffected, for now. Interestingly, right after terminating Epic's account, Apple launched an appeal system that allows developers to challenge App Store rules. So will Epic's allies speak up, or will they cower under Apple's glare? The Panopticon. However it all plays out, one thing Apple can't take from Epic is the fact that the Fortnite universe is now canon in Marvel Comics, thanks to the game's Season 4 crossover. It's only a matter of time before flossing is Captain America's signature move. God, I hope not. And Elon Musk gave the world a better look at Neuralink's brain-machine interface on Friday with a live demo showing the device installed in a live pig. Several pigs, actually, because a dead pig definitely would not have looked as good. There's actually a pig with the device installed and a pig that had it removed, just to prove to everyone that Elon won't live permanently in your head like Keanu Reeves' character from Cyberpunk 2077. We also got a look at V2 of the surgical robot that will sew electrons onto human brains when non-pig trials begin at some point. It looks perfectly dystopian, but also like it could be sold in an Apple store. But Elon Musk seemingly downplayed the device's capabilities for its first iteration, saying it'll be like a Fitbit in your skull. Later models will allow you to control armies of robots as you conquer the Martian surface. That's not confirmed, I just made that up, but I mean, it's either that or replicants, right? Now it's time for the Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant. If you're a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to make brain good, check out Brilliant, the website that helps you reach your learning goals by working just a little bit every day. The courses use interactive explorations and a mobile app to take complex concepts and break them up into delicious bite-sized chunks. We suggest checking out their Mathematical Fundamentals course, which has been redesigned with interactive features to help you with the foundational concepts behind algebra, number theory, and logic which makes it a great resource for STEM students. The first 200 people to head to brilliant.org slash techlinked will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So check it out, baby. Quick bits are good for you. They've got nutrients. More leaks, again spotted by video cards. Twitter user Walking Cat has been posting a ton of videos apparently taken from Intel's marketing materials for the Tiger Lake CPUs launching this fall. There are many mentions of Intel's new Evo branding, as well as the chip's built-in Z graphics. I feel like it's unlikely these new processors will blow AMD out of the water and blast us all back to a time when Intel's processors were just plain better than Team Red's, but I'm open to the possibility. China has just made TikTok sale to a US company more difficult, with new rules requiring the permission of the Chinese government before selling products with tech like data processing and text-to-speech recognition. Things TikTok definitely does. So TikTokers, invent a dance where you pretend to hold onto your butts, because this ride just got a little bumpier. Just like this bumping track. Hit it! Do the butthole. SpaceX has made history with their latest rocket launch, it being both their 100th mission and the first time a rocket has launched into polar orbit from Florida in 50 years. Meanwhile, other rocket companies exist, with Rocket Lab successfully launching their Electron vehicle and United Launch Alliance 
aborting their launch just before takeoff. So close. Could have been a hat trick, ULA. You screwed it up. Gamescon kicked off this weekend with a bunch of game reveals, and by that I mean mostly DLC reveals, but still. We got a look at a teaser for the next Dragon Age game, a bizarre crossover between Star Wars and The Sims. Why? A pretty cool looking time loop game called 12 Minutes, starring Willem Dafoe, Daisy Ridley, and James McAvoy. I hate McAvoy. I talked about this on the Carpool Critics podcast. Ah. And a release date trailer for World of Warcraft Shadowlands. What's in the Shadowlands? No one knows. It's too dark over there. And Google is planning to offer services that will help developers create more ethical AI that's less likely to, say, exhibit racial bias in computer vision systems or fall victim to other discriminatory practices. Yes, we have reached the future where you will be able to pay for a subscription that will help you teach robots to be moral. I'm not even gonna buy a cyberpunk, we're there. And we've reached the end of this episode, we're here. So come back on Wednesday for more tech news. You've had your filter today, I, I can tell. I know when you're satisfied. You don't wanna get indigestion, so stop now. You've stuffed your brain, you got a brain full. I've had it happen, it's not pretty. Hey, Pepto-Bismol.